So, last night when I was streaming, like, the first match I did for the night, I wanted to do an OU battle, and everyone was like, no, fucking, we want you to do Ubers. I was like, fucking, I just want to do OU, okay? Is that a problem? And then finally, I was like, alright, let's get an Ubers match, then no one wanted Ubers. I was like, seriously? Why? Why, people? Why do you have to do this to me? Just, eh. But anyways, hey guys, well, we got a fourth gen OU match here against Nerd Fury, because he was streaming and asking for a match, I was like, hey. You already know I want to do 4th gen, so let's just fucking do it. So, uh, yeah, team preview just to explain. My team, uh, my team, it's not my favorite team ever, but it's still a decent team. I've ranked up pretty high with it when Shoddy was still around, but it's a, uh, lead focus slash Mammoth Swine, a physical mix ape, Tinkerbell Celebi, Scarfed Jirachi, a standard Vaporeon, and a life orb dragon dancing Gyarados. So, that's my team. It's pretty alright, but, like I said, not my favorite team in the world, but I have had a bit more success with it than other teams, but, you know, whatever the case, we're just gonna get into the match, because Rich's team doesn't fucking matter. But he leaves out with Jirachi, and I figured here he wouldn't go straight for Iron Head, he would probably just U-turn or switch out, so I figured I would just go for Stealth Rock take here. I was, like, right when I clicked Stealth Rock, I realized, wait a second, I have Protect on this Mammoth Swine for some reason, I don't even know why it has Protect, but I should have gone for that to scout out the U-turn, but, you know, whatever. But he went out to, uh, the fucking... Starmie, and I just switched right out to Celebi. doesn't do too much, so I'm thinking he's not offensive, but I just go for T-Wave because I know something would want to switch in that wouldn't appreciate a T-Wave was Jirachi, and I just go out to my own Jirachi figuring he'd either U-turn or maybe Trick because he was in the lead spot after all, but my Jirachi absorbs that Trick perfectly. I knew here that he would want to, well, there that he would want to just stay in and Trick again, so I just ironed how to get some damage off. There I knew he'd switch. I go out to Celebi, but he went, goes out to Heatran, so I was like, wow, that was the worst double switch ever for me. But I'm just going to go into uh, Vaporeon because I figure it's the best thing to go into right now. And I'm just going to go for the safe move of Surf because I really didn't feel like over predicting too much at this point. I figured it, Vaporeon's a safe play right now, so let's just do the safe shit and uh, be safe. But he goes for the rapid spin on my Vaporeon, which does confirm that he is most likely just like a bulkier set, quote unquote. But, uh, yeah, he did spin, whatever, get some nice damage out with HP Electric. Just gonna go again for the safe move of HP Electric, even though he's probably gonna switch. But, he does switch, goes into Celebi, I'm like, okay, um, I'm gonna make this risky play of going into Mammoth Swine, maybe predicting his own Thunder Wave. I figured he wouldn't go straight for the Grass move, so I figured Mammoth Swine would be safe. But, he goes for the Hidden Power Fire, I guess, predicting my own Celebi. So, it's like, oh, well, uh, I live, so I can at least get my Stealth Rocks up. Which really the only purpose of them right now is I want to get that Stormy's health lowered a bit so I can maybe put in a range of uh, Infernape's Mach Punch taking it out. But at this point he thinks I have Endeavor on this Mammoth Swine because it does make sense to have Endeavor on this thing. I don't know why I have Protect on it. Like I legitimately do not know why I have Protect. So <laughs> smart of me. But I'm just going to let Mammoth Swine go because it's not that useful in the end. It's not going to do too much damage to his team. Especially with the Celetra and Starmy core. It's really not going to be that helpful. But going to go into Infernape. Scare him out with the prospect of an overheat or U-turn. So I'm just going to go straight for close combat because I figured it would be the safest thing to do. Especially if Starmie came in because I just want Starmie to die. Because if Starmie goes away, I have so much initiative in this match. But he's going to go out to said Starmie. I don't want to risk him going for the water move. Because as you can see from his team... Infernape really threatens it so far, so I need to try and kill the Starmie as soon as possible and not let him kill my Infernape off. So I go into Jirachi, he does spin, not too huge of a deal, but I, I was thinking about going for Mach Punch with Infernape there, but I calc'd it, probably wouldn't have killed, but now I'm going to go back into Infernape and uh, just try and go for the close combat on the Heatran, which he switched into on my U-turn because he didn't want Starmie to die. But he is going to go into his Gliscor here on my close combat, I'm like, okay, um... He's probably too scared of an overheat, even though he was bluffing that he could probably live in overheat, he still probably in his head knew he probably couldn't, so he's just going to switch out to Celebi, I guess predicting me to predict the overprediction, so I don't know, the point is he went into Celebi, and I just overheat the Celebi here to take it out, because Celebi, he thinks, is the most useless thing on his team, but that actually gives me a lot of initiative too, because I do have that Gyarados on my team. But now he's going to go into the Starmie, I'm again going to go into Jirachi, I really don't care what he goes for, I just want this... Jirachi in here threatening it, but he's gonna double switch out to T-Tar, I guess I can you know, go out to Celebi, but that works out perfectly because I can just U-turn, and he goes in Glagger just to take any perspective hit, which happened to be the U-turn, and luckily he didn't miss because he does have Sand Veil, as you'll see later, and he did tell me right there he has Sand Veil, because otherwise, there, there'd be no reason for him to have Hyper Cutter, plus you can tell there, I went for Gyarados, got the Intimidate off, so he doesn't have Hyper Cutter, but just gonna go for the Dragon Dance, because uh, I can kind of sweep his team, 
It because everything is either in kill range or is weak to Gyarados's waterfall. Uh, case in point, first of all, he goes in Heatran. He does Toxic Me, so that means I'm only going to be able to get off like one or two kills with Gyarados. But that's all I fucking need. As long as I kill off key things. That's all I need to do is kill off key things. Which, this Heatran was one of them. Well, not so much Heatran, but it does help to get, you know, Pokemon out of the way. Heatran did threaten my Celebi a bit, so that does... That is actually a bit of key too. But then he goes into this Starmie, which completely throws a game for him. Because now I have that Infernape left, which can both kill off Tyranitar and his Gliscor, because I do have HP Ice on that Infernape, but Gyarados is going to die from the Toxic, which does suck, but I killed two Pokemon, so it's okay, but I go to Infernape, and I miss the HP Ice, like, fucking seriously, man, are you, are you kidding me, that's, ugh, I mean, I would have won right there, it's like, ugh, come on, but, now I'm just going to go into Jirachi, because I have to figure out something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just decided to go straight for Ice Punch. Luckily, I hit this time. I know I can live in Earthquake, so what my game plan is, is to Ice Punch to lure him into wanting to switch to T-Tar, and then go out to my Celebi, and since it is Life Orbed and has a Leaf Storm, I should be able to do substantial damage to it. So that's kind of the game plan right there. Do go into Celebi. He does go into T-Tar like I thought he would, so... I'm just going to go straight for the Leaf Storm right here. Take no chances. He doesn't want to go back into Gliscor. So, uh, well, if he goes back into Gliscor, he's basically fucked. So, yeah. But Leaf Storm actually does a lot. And he thought I would just go for Trick there. So, he decided not to rest up. But I'm a Tinkerbell Celebi. I had Thunder Wave for fuck's sake. But I guess he didn't want to curse up for some reason or even rest. I, I frankly don't know. But my Jirachi is just enough st to survive the Stealth Rocks and Iron Head does a pretty nice chunk to Gliscor, and he goes into Gliscor because he basically has to rely on misses to win this match. Even if he sacked T-Tar, I still would have had Vaporeon to take out the Gliscor, but luckily I hit both my Iron Heads, was just enough to take him out, so now I can just take out the T-Tar with an Iron Head, and that'll make it be the match. So good game, Rich. That fucking stupid miss brought it down to the wire, but it was still a very fun match, whatever the case. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um... There'll be less and less Ubers coming soon because I haven't been getting any good Ubers games lately, so I don't know. Welcome to the return of OU and not Ubers. I don't fucking know, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such a blah. Right, comment, sub, and later, guys.